Well, the resource curse phenomenon is a very peculiar phenomenon, uh, whereas you'd expect countries which get windfalls from the exporting of non-renewable natural resources such as oil and diamonds to translate their windfalls into economic development, what has been observed is that the opposite is actually true. Is actually true. Basically, there are three ways in which natural resources have been observed to affect political and economic development. Um, the first one is authoritarianism. Uh, the second is um, have, uh, experiencing negative rates of economic growth. And the third is uh, through the prevalence of violent conflict in resource exporting countries. The basic thing is to try to diversify um, the economy. Um, but of course, political uh, outcomes uh, take a longer time to address than uh, you know, the economic outcomes. It will take a huge overhaul of, or a huge change in the institutional makeup of these countries where um, even up until that core political culture of the country has to change where that, you know, mental dependency or um, on these natural resources is not as, you know, uh, impactful.